What's good, YouTube? Or should I say, what's poppin'? No. Alright, but seriously, let's get on with the round three matchup review so we can get into the grand final and elimination loser bracket round. I am super fucking excited. I hope you guys watched all three matches because, wow. Just fucking wow. First off, we're going to go ahead and start off with mine. In order of the videos, I, I, I just, let's just get on with it. Let me switch over here. Here you guys see it. This is the final bracket look. Uh, round three, I should say. Um, once I was done editing it all. And like I said, we're going to go from video order. So Team Murdoch versus Glizzy Goblins. Oh, wow. What do I say about that? Besides, we got fucking smashed. Um, these guys were practicing before we even got on. Um, I think me and Alex just had a very bad day. No excuses. We got fucking wrecked. 6-0 in Hackney Yard and 6-2 in Scrap Yard. He gave me a little extra love there, so I had to show him up. Um, did I try my best? Of course I did. I always do. I just suck. And we have those days. I do not want to be considered a god no more, but I will say I probably could have played better. But, you know, we always have a, a match where we just completely suck. And, well, I just I didn't bring anything to the table, and Alex, there was no communication. We got a little frustrated. That's what happens. You get frustrated mid-match, you lose. It, it's going to happen. Um, but yeah, we got fucking wrecked. There is no way around that. And then we go to Afro Snakes and Team Marcus or Team Weeb, as I remember finally. Huh! That one gave me a heart attack. Um, Scrapyard 6-2. Um, Afro Snakes, they ran the table, mainly Ethan, he really showed up in Scrapyard. And then Gunrunner, uh, 6-5, it, it, it was, you need to watch the match. If you did not watch that match, please go watch it. Um, Gunrunner was a, a crazy match. Um, it was so crazy that I called it, we was going to go to Livestock. So Afro Snakes, they just didn't show up, um. Like in my video, I said they don't. They play one good map, and then they, the map, next map they just trash. They lose it. Um, that's why they were in a loser bracket. That's honestly, I think that's why. So it was five one. Team Weeb had to lead five to one. And Afro Dziak, go check him out. Obviously, this is what content is made for. Afro Dziak, he plays a lot of Apex. He just turned it around. I mean, he completely... He, he won Gunrunner for Afro Snakes. He he came to play. He came to play. Afro Snakes turned it around and won five maps in a row. Or five uh, five, blah, 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 five rounds in a row and and, and beat Team Weeb to, to move on to the final elimination bracket round. I, I couldn't believe it. That was the craziest map in this entire tournament. That was the craziest map of this entire tournament. I'm calling it now. I don't know what Grand Finals is going to bring. I don't know what Loser Grand Finals is going to bring. I don't even know what the next elimination bracket is going to bring. But that, as of right now, was the craziest map of Gunrunner I've ever seen. And... I want to say it one more time, Team Marcus or Team Weeb, listen up. You guys did not lose that map. Afro just decided to play. Afro went completely insane. I'm telling you, when you watch him, I don't know. It was like he was playing Apex on Call of Duty. This kid just annihilated everyone. So, they move on. Glizzy versus Afro is the next map. <clears throat> It has to go in order now, so it is Glizzy Goblins versus Afro Snakes in your next matchup. No matter what, that's who they got to go first. So, let's go to the primetime matchup. 4-Bob versus Cheech and Chong. 
I may have said something in the other video. Yes, Tokes did give up. Um, they lost 6-4, 6-2 in shoot house. Um, Tokes did give up a little bit. He says, I knew I was going to lose, but you got to keep it moving, man. You got to keep the content. If you watch the elimination bracket between Afro Snakes and Team Marcus, it could have happened. Four Bob could have fell apart. You don't know. Nobody ever knows. A 5-1 deficit. What I've always told my entire COD team all the time is you can come back. Um, we did it in GBs. Me and my team have went down 5-1 and came back. It is possible. It is possible. I don't care who you are. I don't care how good you are. It is possible you lose a 5-1. Will you be salty after you lose a 5-1 if you are in the lead? Yes, you will be. But it will happen. I've had it happen to me. I was up 5-1 and still lost. How I was up 5-0 and still lost. It's going to happen, guys. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Before Bob beats Cheech and Chong, uh, Shoot House is, this was a kind of disaster. I, I feel like if Cheech and Chong, if Cowboy and Tokes actually get on and play together, you never know. I think they could make it back to the grand final, but I just don't give up. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the name. The name in the pool. Or the maps, I should say. Sorry. Um, you will not see you will not see grand finals at all. Look, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You will not see the grand final drawing. That is already recorded. And that will be posted before the grand finals. I, I am not showing the grand finals. It's only going to be Glizzy, Goblins versus Afro Snakes. And then it's going to be the loser grand finals. That's the only maps we're pulling today. We do not pull grand finals. I always throw a curveball inside of my tournaments. Well, here's the curveball. It is a best of seven. Not a best of three twice. It's a best of seven for grand finals. Meaning seven maps. You got to beat them four times anyway. If you have to beat them in the first, if you beat them in the first best of three, then you got to beat them in the second best of three. You still have to beat them four times. So we're just going to make it a best of seven. So it's just, I think to me, it's just going to be easier that way. Seven maps. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pull the names of the maps that for Glizzy and Afro Snakes. Let's get on with it. First map is gonna be Gunrunner. Bum bum bum. Second map is gonna be Crash. Oof, that's not that's not gonna be fun. I think uh, if that's the case, and Ramaza, holy shit! If I if that's the case, if Gunrunner is first I think Afro Snakes need to win that one because I don't know how Crash is gonna go with with them guys and for your loser grand final you have Cheech and Chong so what's gonna happen here Glizzy Goblins or Afro Snakes will be facing Cheech and Chong in the loser bracket in the loser grand final let's go ahead and pull the names of that of the maps we have Shoot House And then we have Gunrunner. Oh my god. And then we have the final map will be Scrapyard. Oh man, what content. Again guys, I have, I already have your grand final set up. So don't worry about that. Um, there it is. Glizzy Goblins and Afro Snakes is going to be playing on Gunrunner, Crash, Ramaza. Predictions on that. I feel like Glizzy Goblins will be taking that one. Probably in a 2-0 fashion. 
And then they're going to go on against Cheech and Chong, whoever that is. Whoever goes against Cheech and Chong is going to be a hell of a matchup. No doubt. I'm excited to see them. Whoever goes, I'm excited to see it. Um, but that is your next round matches. And again, Grand Finals is a best of three. Let me go ahead and just put that down here for everyone. Or best of seven, sorry. Um, I just think it's better that way. Um, for Bob in a best of seven, I feel like they're going to win the whole thing. I really do. Um, they, I think they kind of started a little slow in the first first round, but they'll pick it up and they'll. I think they'll win. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't decided since it is a best of three or best of seven instead of two best of three. See what would happen if it was a regular best of three for Bob, all they would have to do is beat him twice, you know, in the first best of three and then it's over. So I think I'm going to do a best of seven, but give for Bob the first round. So it's technically one Oh. So really, I should be deleting a map, but I haven't decided fully on that one yet. I feel like either way, I think best of seven is just going to be a fun, fun map, fun matchup. Because um, in a best of three, twice, if you have to do a, a best of three twice, you would play the three, three maps if you make it to the third map. If four Bob wins the first best of three, then there is no second best of three. If that would make sense. But in a best of seven, it's the best of seven instead of two best of threes. I wish I could draw it up and actually show you guys what I mean. But I feel like just for good content, we keep it best of seven and see what uh, four Bob can do. I was going to do this either way. It doesn't matter who was in the grand finals. So I'm, just, I'm probably just going to keep it this way. So good luck to four Bob in the grand finals. I look forward to giving them guys 30 bucks a piece. Uh, it's a sixty dollar um, grand final, so winner gets thirty dollars a piece, split between them. Um, so I don't know. I feel like Four Bob's gonna win the whole thing, but I don't know who's gonna be in there with them. So I, either way, it's gonna be a fun matchup. Again, please no sore losing. Um, I like doing these tournaments, so all I gotta say is good luck to the rest of the teams and good luck in round four. I look forward to making some great-ass content, so make it interesting. Peace out, guys.